Hi and welcome to video 4 on life skills for teachers. Um, in this video I'm going to be talking about study skills and why they're important for not just our learners but for teachers too. This is about effective goal setting and thinking about what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve that. So what goals do you set yourself? Um, it's important to remember that we are all on a lifelong learning journey and therefore we have professional goals that we may want to achieve and we also have personal goals that we may want to achieve. And are you aware of what you want to achieve, both professionally and personally? What are the things that you want to do? Um, you may have goals that are linked to your career and where you want to be. Um, you may have goals linked to your education, to further skills, further learning that you might do. You may have personal things that you want to change and learn, or you may want to relate learning to your personal development, to your attitude, to your mindset. So these are all areas where we can set goals and we can learn and we can improve. Um, goal setting is very much linked to how we manage our time and to the work-life balance and that's why I'm linking it to both professional and personal life goals. It's important to recognise that you are responsible for your life, you are responsible for what you want to achieve, what you want to um, attain and where you want to go and actually the more that you can embrace that and accept that it feels very liberating and helps you to feel more in control of, of what you're doing. Now where do study skills come into that? Um, if you're learning anything new, you're going to be applying study skills um, and effective study skills are everything from time management to music to health to exercise. There's actually types of music that you can listen to that will help you study more effectively or help you write more effectively. If you're working on a big project where you need to focus and concentrate, there are actual music, types of music that you can have playing in the background that will actually help you to write more effectively. So it's things like that that are part of lifelong learning and part of study skills. Um, it's also things like keeping up to date with learning and teaching um, on your specific subject or content area or simply learning new things and applying new things. Self-awareness again, this is always the cornerstone of every single life skill, but do we know how we tackle things? Do we know how we approach big projects? Um, do we know how we procrastinate or tend to procrastinate? Do we know how we take in information? So study skills is all about very much about reading and managing information, but we're all overloaded with information, so we need to know how we do that. How do we read things? How do we fit in the best kind of learning? Do we, for example, decide to listen to a TED talk um, once a week, or try and read a new article about our subject area, or a different subject area, just to keep that brain alive and sharp and ticking over? This is all part of study skills. So we all need to read more and learn more and continually updating our skills. This is, this is part of lifelong learning and part of study skills. And if we're expecting our students to have good study skills and use them in the classroom, we have to also be good at doing this ourselves.